Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. Today I will be showing you guys how to make 5M look absolutely spectacular with my Natural Vision Evolved Reshade preset. In this video I'll be using the August 6th update for NVE. You can download the NVE single player beta for free in the official Raised Mods website. The link will be in the video description. Now, although this will be a 5M installation tutorial, the reshade preset that I will be using will still work for single player. Alright, now let's get on with the installation tutorial. First thing you'll need is your NVE 5M package and your reshade setup 4.9.1, uh, reshade setup 4.9.1 mod, and my reshape preset all right let's open the nve package and let's find our gta5 directory make sure it is the directory with gta5.exe in it now we're gonna go ahead and install the enb i use the low settings preset so we're just going to take everything over here, I'm going to drag and drop. And if it asks, just replace. Now next, we're going to go to the main package. For the main package, we're going to exit out of the main GTA 5 directory, and we're actually going to go into a 5M directory. And once we're on this uh, page in the file explorer, we're gonna go to 5M application data, the one with the uh, snail icon. We're gonna double click on it and you're gonna look for the mods folder. If you don't see the mods folder, um, you just you can just uh, right click and create the folder and name it mods. So double click on it. You might see this file here, you might not. You can leave it, it's fine. Um, so we're gonna open the mods folder in the 5M package and just select everything and drag and drop just like that so it will take a little bit of time to uh, transfer everything over you'll just be patient and wait a little bit all right so once the files have been uh, copied over we can exit out of this main package and go back over here to the screen thingy where we will now head on, head on over to the optional add-ons so you can copy what i do i mean this is just based on personal preference but i'll be going with the medium intensity motion blur and we're going. I'm going to go with medium insert, uh, medium intensity brighter emergency lights. Um, I'm gonna just go for animated gas stations. I don't want animated ATMs. I'm, you know, I don't um look at ATMs very much in game. Uh, I'll take the roads overhaul pack. And I will also um, install the weapons overhaul pack. Um, height weapons, reticle, I wouldn't, I wouldn't install that. I don't want to install that either. Um, as for these interior overhauls, like the mission row uh, department overhaul here and the vanilla unicorn into your overhaul i would not recommend installing it because some servers may have a custom interior and uh yeah you do not want this um overhaul thingy to mess it up as for realistic uh, license plates i don't see a problem with it I'm going to add that in. Northern Lights, I would prefer not to. It can be a bit distracting. It looks a bit unrealistic. I'd save it for cinematics or um, pictures, not normal gameplay. Just, you know, takes the 
takes the fun out of it, I suppose. Uh, I don't know. Personal preference. So this is going to be my final um, list of things that I will be using in 5M. Now that we have completed the installation for NVE, we're going to move on to the reshade setup. So we're going to double click on the EXE, make sure it's the 4.9.1. And uh, let's click here, click browse and click GTA5.exe. And then you're going to click open. Now you have this window over here. What you need to do is click the bottom left button gonna click uncheck all and then check all and once everything has been checked you're gonna click ok and wait for it to install all right now it says uh, the reshade setup was successful we can uh, close out of this and we can move on to the reshade setup 4.9.1 mod.exe so we're just going to double click on it and click browse yeah just click here actually sorry and uh, click browse and then click on gta5.exe same thing click open and now when it asks you which rendering api does gta5 use just click on direct 3d you know this thing the one that has already been checked just click it and then it says existing reshoot installation found how do you want to proceed you're gonna click on update and it says reshoot setup was successful and now you can close the window finally we can move on to getting the reshoot preset into our gta5 directory so all we have to do is open our gta5 directory in file explorer i'm gonna drag and drop the preset into it now i i already have it installed that's why it's asking me um to replace it or skip it or whatever i'm just gonna replace it you don't really have to worry about that and once you see that it has been installed you can close it and you're ready to boot up 5m so let's go ahead and jump into Fiverr. Alright. Once we're in Fiverr, you should see this uh, on the top of your screen. We can press home to start the tutorial thingy. You can click skip tutorial and it'll bring you to this uh, page. Press home again, close out of this menu, we will mess with that later on. What we want to do first is actually go into settings on your top right hand side of the screen in the 5M menu and make sure that fix UI lag is turned on. Just make sure the um, settings down here match. After you have uh, checked the setting, you want to exit out over here and click exit and then we'll just you know start 5m again for those of you who might be a bit worried um that it did say in the settings menu over here it did say that uh may cause rel reliability issues with gpu crashes and requires restart in my experience uh there have been no full system crashes that I haven't had to like restart the entire system or anything like that it was usually just the uh, the 5m crashing and that's it so at the most there will be a uh, system restart but then again you know as long as it boots up it's fine as long as you have good cooling systems in place for your pc um you shouldn't you shouldn't do much to your pc so don't worry about it Let's go back to the menu and I'm going to join our some free room. All right, so we're going to be jumping into a server now to enable reshade and see what we've got.
Hello everyone, so now that we have loaded into a server of our choice, you can press home on your keyboard to open up the reshade menu. And we're going to go to the top over here and just click where it says reshade preset. And we're going to scroll down until we find um, the reshade preset that you just installed. It's going to be named like, you know, Jar Watching NVE V2. And we're just going to double click on it. And just like that, we have applied the new reshade. And yeah, it is working perfectly. So a tip that I can show you is that if you go back into the reshade um, menu by pressing home, and you go to the settings tab on the top over here, and if you uh, click over here and press end, you set the effect toggle key to be your end key. So, you, so when you press end now, you turn off the preset and turn it back on. So yeah, that's a pretty handy thing to have. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Yeah, and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.